that they bribed the Bidens, okay? This was given to the FBI. When Bill Barr finally found out about it, he sent it to his office in Philadelphia. They actually said that this was very credible. The FBI kept this from the IRS individuals for them ever to see it. So not only do they claim that they were bribed, we now find information that 16 out of 17 payments from Romania were provided to the Biden shell companies while he was vice president. When President Biden was running for office, he told the American public that he's never talked about business. He said his family has never received a dollar from China, which we now prove is not true. We now have some of the most credible whistleblowers. These 10-year IRS agents who have come forward said that the Biden family has been treated differently, that what Weiss has told us is different than what Garland and Weiss has told the public. And you're sitting here today where now you have found millions of foreign money, just what the 1023 alleges they did to Biden's family. Now we found that it has funneled through shell companies. If you're sitting in our position today, we would know none of this if Republicans had not taken the majority. We've only followed where the information has taken us. But and this Speaker. is rising to the level of impeachment inquiry, which provides Congress the strongest power to get the rest of the knowledge and information needed. Because this president has also used something we have not seen since Richard Nixon, used the weaponization of government to benefit his family and deny Congress the ability to have the oversight. If we are talking about millions of dollars coming from our top geopolitical foes and that the Biden family has been corrupted and, and took in all of this money and he was complicit in that, wouldn't that, wouldn't that, wouldn't that mean that we have a criminal enterprise uh, in, in, as president of the United States that had to be on every level compromised by countries that are not particularly fond of us? Well, it's interesting that the Biden family runs, if they say, a company but never had an office and shell companies to be able to pay through. But if they really ran it for foreign countries, why didn't you get money from France, from Germany, from UK? Why does it have to be from China, Romania, um, in these countries that have real challenges and had problems going through? I believe we will follow this all the way to the end, and this is going to rise to an impeachment inquiry the way the Constitution tells us to do this, and we have to get the answers to these questions. In the words of John Dean, a malignant cancer now is surrounding the Biden presidency, and those walls are closing awfully tight. Uh, this is not going the way I'm sure they wanted it to. And then we have on the other side of it, the assistance of the DOJ and the FBI. That's Jim Jordan's committee. Uh, Mr. Speaker, thank you. All right, you heard it. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. All I'm going to say is let's just wait and see what's going to happen next. God bless you. Catch you on the next one.